Raj, what do your parents think about President Trump? Uh, Tom, thanks for the introduction. Um, they're actually big fans of the president. Um, they like his approach on a, a whole lot of issues from trade. Uh, you know, you mentioned immigration. They're, they're big fans of his approach on the issue of immigration as well. Was so the, they, they like the they like the tax cuts. They like the growth. Yeah, and they, they like, like his the, overall approach. Yeah, I can understand that. Everybody likes a tax cut uh, when they see it. <laughs> what I'm seeing in the zeitgeist this morning from our Kevin Cirilli and also from Mike Allen over at Axios is the new word of the moment, which is socialist. The messaging last night from the president, and frankly, it's burgeoning here by the day, folks, is a Republican framework to frame the Democratic Party as socialist. McKinnon, show us the ladies in white last night, uh, if you would. Exactly one century after Congress passed the constitutional amendment giving women the right to vote, we also have more women serving in Congress than at any time before. Uh, the president as well. Rush Shaw, when I, when I look at this, it's going to go back to the politics, and I want you to define right now how democratic liberalism is quote-unquote socialist. Well, um, first of all, I thought that was a great moment for the president and for the Democrats uh, who were there last night. Look, I think that you see an emerging debate in the Democratic Party about which direction they're going to take, particularly economic policy. You have people talking about 70 percent tax, tax rates, ending private health insurance, uh, what any uh, kind of observer looks at and calls socialist policies. These were looked at as fringe uh, several years ago when Bernie Sanders was Bernie Sanders was running on them. They've gone mainstream now. They have the majority of members of the House and many senators supporting them, and a lot of Democratic presidential candidates. This is going to become a litmus test. Is the Democratic Party going to be uh, remain a capitalist party or going to become a socialist party? And the president really uh, highlighted that divide very effectively last night. Speaking of divides, Raj, last night, was President Trump a bipartisan president or a combative president, in your view? Certainly wasn't combative. I thought that the uh, extended and, uh, I thought, important case that he made on immigration was necessary. I think a lot of Americans hear about the issue of border security, the issue of the wall. They don't really know the details. And I think he made a forceful and sustained and persuasive case on that issue. But on a lot of others, he reached across the aisle, and I thought that he, uh, <clears throat> you know, created some areas for potential common ground. Infrastructure is one of them. Trade is another that's sort of been playing out for the past right. year. Where there's a lot of areas uh, of bipartisan agreement, prescription drug pricing is another. So there's a lot of areas, uh, both looking forward and also looking backward. You talked about the opioid crisis uh, and legislation that Congress has passed to uh, address that, and criminal justice reform. Right. So there were a lot of things in which Democrats around the country and in the room uh, could praise. Raj, you live this, and somebody's going to say within the Republican Party that the generals aren't around anymore to put a muzzle on the president. He went after Schumer. He even went after Admiral McCain. He went after John McCain in the afternoon, I believe it was, yesterday. Can this guy get reelected if he's messaging not the Raj Shaw message, if he's going after people doing cheap shots time after time after time? I, I don't think that that's fair. Look, I think that the president was elected in large part because he's authentic. He speaks his mind. Uh, you know, it may it may ruffle a few feathers uh, from time to time, but I think he's got to maintain his brand and got to. Uh, uh, remain authentic. I think mm -hmm. when he fakes it, it doesn't work. And I thought last night you saw a president uh, embrace a pretty traditional aspect of the presidency, but really use it to his advantage. I thought he had a captive audience and he took advantage of it by making a very strong and persuasive case. Mm -hmm. You saw the overnight polls, I know they're not scientific, but show that uh, big bipartisan majorities approved yeah. of what he had to say last night.